Woo! Boy! <laughs> hey man, let me let me not get it so close to my face with everything going on, but man, we about to get into this shoe, baby. Yes. Hey, what is up, YouTubers and YouTubies? Welcome back to the crib. I am your boy HG, and you are now tuned in to Homegrown Kicks, and we are back up in this thing because we belong here, man. Oh, man, I'm excited for this one. Um, I was hoping that this was gonna be a double upload, but unfortunately, a few things didn't go my way. So, you know, this is gonna be a single upload. Um, this is a early pair in the sense of an early pair from like sneakers app and not a, a, a early pair from like the plug or something like that. Though shout out to the plugs, they are wonderful. This is a shock drop pair from the Nike sneakers app. Now there were a couple of shoes to shock drop or give early access to. There was the fire red fours. There was the uh, dunk veneers. I think that's the name of it. They gave early access to some people for the off-white fives um, and they gave early access to another shoe, I think like the dark mochas and I think it was maybe like one more. Um, speaking of the fire red fives or the off-white fire red fives, excuse me, um, hey, it's release day, I didn't hit, so no, that's not what this shoe is. But um, it's still an exciting, iconic shoe, nonetheless. Let me let, let me get into the to the first shoe I wanted to show. It's not exactly uh, you'll just see when I show it to you. So another another purchase from overseas, dope shoe in my opinion, straight out of Nike. But there was only one problem with it. Look check that out but it's not my size and man these definitely a clean shoe right here these are uh, air max 90s you know a little something different but just not my size so they will be going back they will definitely be going back tomorrow and uh hopefully i can either get something dope or get a uh, another pair but this right here this bad boy right here yes 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 straight from nike with the just do it tape the box is a little beat up and look it's almost open like i don't know if somebody tried to open it or whatever but fingers crossed that my shoes are in there i have seen some horror stories online and you know I'm doing this straight, raw, uncut, on camera. I haven't peeked into the box or anything like that. But yes, let's get into what's in this box. Ooh, I am excited. Oh uh, man, I can't find a knife. So we're gonna use this little fingernail file and let's just get right into this bad boy. <laughs> Ooh wee, come on. There we go. Man, not quite Mike Rich these hands strong, but I mean, I can look a little, some little skinny man swole too. <laughs> but y'all, yeah, it is in the Air Jordan Flight box. You usually see these boxes with fours, fives. I can't think of what else, but if you can think of what else you usually get these boxes with, put it down in the comment section below. Now, Getting into it, it was at a suggested retail price of $200. That's what I paid, of course, because I uh, got it off the Sneakers app. Thank you, Sneakers. One of the shoes that I wanted to hit on, so I appreciate you. I, what is it, 200 plus shipping? So yeah, somewhere around there, plus tax, you know what I'm saying. It is the Air Jordan 4 Retro. Hey, and I know you already know what it is. Uh, white, fire red, black, tech gray. It is in my size, a 10. Um, in women's sizing, that's an 11 and a half. Again, for y'all that don't know, if you get a woman's shoe, you go a full size and a half up. The UK size nine, and I'm pretty sure that's relevant for a lot of people because I know a lot of uh, my US buyers, they get a lot of shoes from overseas and they don't exactly know what their size is. So I'm gonna tell you, 
whatever your size is in UK size, you go a full size down. So for me, I'm a 10, my UK size is a nine. If you're an eight, your UK size is a seven, so on and so forth. So I mean, I'm sure y'all got the point, but yes, y'all know this is not a homegrown channel review if I don't give it to y'all in en français. So let's go ahead and knock out this en français one time for the one time, because I don't think I've done it in the last couple of videos. But hey, let's go ahead and knock this out. Blanc Noir Gris Tech Rouge Fu. Come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You already know what it is, so let's get into the shoot. Uh, pull this top off, and I'm excited because this is the first time I've ever had this shoe, so I don't know quite what to expect. You got the cement splattered paper, which is a little bit different. Lifting up that paper. Y'all tell me what it looked like. I can't, I can't look at it. Let me see. Oh, it's another cement paper. Hold, hold, hold on, tell me, tell, me, tell me what y'all see. Tell me what you see. It is the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red. And just off of first impressions, man, this leather is buttery um i haven't used this expression in a long time but this leather is softer than a thick bit if you know what i'm talking about man Whew. wow um mm, mm. a very basic shoe in my opinion um, a very iconic shoe at the same time, but even for a basic shoe, there's just something about this. It's just something the way that these colors come together. This white, this hits of black, this red. Um, it's got the OG hang tag on there. If you flip it around to the back, it's got Nike Air on that ass. Come on, come on. And I don't know, I'm, like I said, I've never had a pair of the OG Fire Red 4s. So um, I don't know if the toe box is, you know, true to the OG form. But, you know, they've been doing pretty good as far as the toe boxes of the shoes and things like that. So um, if you've owned a pair of the OG Fire Red 4s, let me know down in the comment section below if the toe box looks um, OG. And look at this. Let me see if the camera will pick it up. Good gracious. Look how soft and, 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 and supple. <laughs> Wipe up that drool. That toe box leather is. Like the leather all around this shoe is soft. Oh, whoo. You got uh, these hits of red on the lace waffle eyelets. You got the black wings. You got the um, flight patch on the tongue, red sock liner behind the tongue and on the sock liner. You've got Air Jordan on the back of the tongue. And I wonder if anybody has ever like flipped the tongue and worn them like that to where you can see the Air Jordan. How many of y'all have ever done that? I, I don't know, that, that seems like an interesting thing to do. Kind of like, um, that might have been what gave Off-White, I mean, not Off-White, but um, Union LA, that I did a do the tongue like that. I mean, by and forth, I've always wondered that. When I saw the uh, Air Jordan upside down on the tongue, I've always wondered who out there might have dared to flip that tongue so you can see the Air Jordan upright. Uh, pulling out the insole, man, that's a nice, soft insole, but it's an all-black insole, Nike Air in red, nothing too major there as per fours they have the elastic band holding the tongue down so you could wear these shoes you know fresh print style without the laces you know just go free with it you know no laces needed um, on the bottom you've got white on the um, the arch support area you've got a white pod near the front of the foot you got a uh, gray toe cap with uh, the stars on the bottom and then you've got a gray heel and then you've got that clear can y'all see me can y'all see me 
this clear air bubble with a gray air unit on the inside. Behind the cage, you've got that black material and you've got a standard white cage. And these shoes, man, these shoes are fire. Fire red fours, they're definitely fire, man. This is like my first ever early shot drop hit on sneakers. I've always been late to the party. Some of them, you know, I was definitely upset about being late to the party, but I still end up getting them in the end. These are one of those shoes where I'm glad I was there and I'm glad I got them. Um, of course, again, I would have loved to have grabbed the off-white fives, but hey, you never know. They might be coming to your boy sooner or later, so stay tuned for that. Um, let me know what y'all thought about these fire red fours down in the comment section below. Did you hit on that early shock drop? Even though you didn't hit on the early shock drop, are you going after them when they release? I forgot what day these actually drop. I don't know, but if you don't know, you can always check your sneakers app or you can follow me on IG at homegrown underscore kicks. They will be on my wall. And you know, I put you know some random things up there from time to time. I know I haven't put a lot of uh, sneaker photos up lately. But I mean, you know, I work a full time job and that requires a lot of planning. So, you know, I'm trying to get some sneaker photos up there, but I do put sneaker related content up there. Um, you know, uh, bits of release drops and things like that just for anybody who follows me. So you will know what's up and coming. So, yeah, head over there. I have uh, a Twitter. Um, I don't have a Facebook, but of course, I got a YouTube and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, be sure to follow me over there. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Did you hit on the off-white fives today? Uh, did you get early access to the off-white fives? Did you get early access to the SBs or the mochas? Because the mochas are coming up next too. And hopefully I can get those. I think I got a lock for those. So you stay tuned for that review as well. But uh, yeah, I know I've talked long enough. But before I go, I cannot leave y'all without saying, first of all, Shout out to Sneakerhead Clothing Line for all of your sneakerhead apparel needs. Head over there, they've got an IG, Facebook, website. You, you think of it, they got it. So head over there, they've got dope hats, t-shirts, uh, laces, anything you need, go over there. And like always, remember, nothing is impossible. Fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way and dream hungry. Early shot drop access review. Hey, <laughs> I'm speechless and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.